Hi Flosstube, my name is Laura and welcome to my channel, Loves Rubber Stamps and Needle Crafts. Today is Saturday, February 25th of 2023 and this is my Flosstube video number 27. Today's video will be a recap of my stitching for both January and what I was able to get done here in February, which actually I haven't had a ton of stitching time, which is why it's been a little bit since my whip parade video, but I will show you what I have finished. Uh, also in today's video, uh, I will be doing a giveaway because I realized that on January 15th of this year was my four year floss tube anniversary. So it's crazy that four years ago I did my first video and I have to say that I'm still really nervous when I do them and uh, has gotten a little bit easier, but I'm still nervous every time until I get going. The, the starting is the hardest part for me, I think. Uh, but if you've been thinking about doing videos and you're scared to put yourself out there, I'm very introverted usually and quiet. And if I can do it, you guys can do it. So, um, it's, everybody is kind of nervous and scared when they first start, but once you get talking about the craft that we all love, then it becomes a little easier. So, um, let's see. So today's video, um, is just going to be really, I'll just show you what I've been working on and, um, sorry, I have notes down here. And then, um, I came up with a new rotation that I would like to try doing. So I'm going to talk a little about that and my plans. And then I have just a smidge of a uh, haul that I got in. So I'll share that at the end. And then we'll do the giveaway. So I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, today, actually, my mom, my sister, Lindsay, and I were supposed to be in Minnesota for um, I sell Sensi as well. And um, Sensi was having their world tour in Minneapolis today and we had our hotel booked and our uh, tickets purchased and then the weather went to crap this week. So um, here in Iowa, we're in central Iowa, we got um, over a quarter inch of ice on Wednesday. Um, so we had a big ice storm. Luckily we didn't lose power or anything, but the further north you went, um, they got just tons of snow. So Thursday was the last day I could cancel the hotel and not knowing how the roads would be by then, or um, they were forecasting up to 25 inches of snow for Minnesota where we would be going. So I went ahead and just canceled the hotel and stuff that way, just in case um, it wasn't looking like we'd be able to go. But um, it seems like they got dug out pretty good. I know that since he's still having their show, um, so it's kind of a bummer, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, so anyway, instead I'm here doing my floss tube, which is just as much fun. So um, we will go ahead and get started. I think that's about it for life. Um, not much. So uh, the first project I worked on, um, these are going to be in no particular order, I guess I should say. Um, I'll just grab my pile. So the first project um, I've worked on just a little bit since my last video, my whip parade when I did it is my King Coda Storyteller by Heaven and Earth Design. And this is uh, artwork by Amy Stewart. This is what it will look like finished. Sorry for the glare. The one that I'm doing is a Super Size Max color version. And this one I haven't done a whole bunch more since my whip parade video maybe maybe 300 stitches or something like that but I'll insert a picture of where I was at the last time you saw it here so 
And here's where I'm at now. So basically I just continued on this page and did some more black. I came up here, started the next about two rows and um, just working on a bunch of black right now. I'm not used to doing these videos during the daytime, so my window is obnoxious. I think I need to get like a curtain or something to help if I do videos during the day, but um, there's where I'm at. So this is six full pages complete along the top row so far. And I think this page I'm working on, um, if I remember right, it, it kind of goes to there. So a little bit over halfway done on this page but the majority of this page is black with just a few of the dark I think it's 3371 stitches in there as well so that's where I'm at on that one okay the next project that I worked on um, was my, kind of my focus piece for, um, February for in full coverage fanatics. They have a color of the month and this month's color was orange. So I've been working on my daydream tigers by Sheena Pike. And this one is charted by charting creations. And this is the large size. And that is what it will look like when it's finished. I love this one. Um, currently, I just hit 1%, uh, like 1.03% complete on this one. Um, so I'll insert a picture of where I was at the last time you saw it here. And here's where I'm at now. So basically all I've been working on is this brown color, which is uh, 400, DMC 400. And I've just um, been following that around as it goes. So I probably won't get to work on this much. Um, the next couple of days. So that might be my progress for February. Uh, I'm going to talk about my, how I kind of plan on doing my rotation moving forward. Um, but, um, so it, it's actually kind of a good stopping spot. I think if I do my rotation, like I planned, so uh, the next project that I've got some progress on, I don't have a printed out picture of it, but oh, it's on my pattern keeper. So let's see if there's a mock-up. No. Um, I need a PDF. Yeah. Let me zoom in here. So um, this is my temperature tree by Stitch and Mommy, and that's what it will look like when it's finished or similar. And this one, I haven't got a whole bunch more progress, which you're going to find that that's pretty much the typical of every project that I worked on. Not a ton of progress, but um, I'll insert a picture of where I was at the last time you saw it here. And here's where I'm at now. So um, really all I've done since you've seen it last, let's see if this fabric is a little flimsy, um, is I stitched the branch for April. So now I'm ready to do the leaves. So I have all the temperatures wrote down and um, I was trying to work on this one. Um, so Monday through Thursdays, I babysit my two grand dogs uh, for my daughter because she works 12 hour shifts and they're just little chihuahuas. So um, it's hard for them to stay in their kennel for 12 hours. 
and they only live a half a block away from me. So um, they come to Nana and Papa's house, but they're very needy. Um, they love their Nana. So when they're here, I don't get anything done because all they do is cry if I'm not sitting on my butt on the couch holding them. So uh, that's what I have to do. And so I've been trying to find uh, smaller projects that I can stitch while they're sitting on my lap. Um, I'll insert a couple of pictures of them at the end of the video so you can see how cute they are. But it's hard for me to work on my full coverage um, stitching when they're here. So um, I've been trying to do smaller projects, but that's not the easiest too. So this was the one um, that I'm able to kind of hold pretty easily and try to do it while they're here. But a lot of times um, when I try to do the leaves, it's a lot of color changes. So that makes it a little tougher. But that's where I'm at. This is being stitched on 40 count River Rock from Color and Cotton. And this one I'm stitching, um, I'm using the temperatures from last year because this is, I'm doing it to commemorate our 25th wedding anniversary, which was last year. So we got married on Valentine's Day. And so I did the leaf for uh, February 14th. I added some blending filament so it's sparkly to make that leaf a little special. So, but love how it looks. Very pretty. I wanna get this one done this year. Um, I wanted to have it done, obviously, by the, around January of this year, but obviously I fell way behind, so there's that one. My next one that I've worked on just a smidge is my Seasons in Chalk Art Winter by Priscilla Blaine in Hands-On Design. This was in the Just Cross Stitch uh, issue February of 2016 magazine. Here is where I was at last time you've seen it. And here's where I'm at now. So basically I finished this snowflake and I came down and was just working on some of the border. So this I think is almost I'm pretty close to the bottom of the design now so I think there's another kind of swirl that goes this way um, actually yeah I think that is close to the bottom because then the little snowman will start about right here so this is being stitched on the recommended fabric which was a 32 count slate from uh, hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie using all the called for colors so this one, it was the one that I was taking to work um, to stitch on at work when it was not quite as busy, but honestly, I haven't been getting it out. Um, we've been actually pretty busy, so um, I haven't really got a stitch on it too much at work like I was hoping I'd be able to. So um, not getting the progress as quickly and as fast as I would like on that one either by trying to take it to work, so. Uh, the next piece that I worked on was my uh, Mill Hill Hocus Pocus Trilogy piece, Muriel. And this, she's the third, um, I just have, I've stitched the other two of this trilogy. So she's my last one. And I'll insert a picture of where I was at last time you saw it here. And here's where I'm at now. So, um, so this one, uh, my son had to have surgery uh, on his wrist. So while he was in surgery, I worked on her in the hospital because she is small, easy to take. So, and then I have one more project that I've worked on since last time. And that is my Candomar Designs Eat My Dust. It's a gold collection kit. 
This is the one that I picked for my uh, hoping to finish for full coverage fanatics this year since it's kind of my smallest full coverage. Um, I'll insert a picture of where I was at last time you saw it here. Here's where I'm at now. So basically I've just been working on off-white in that background. And that I just worked on one night. Actually, it was last night um, that I worked on it. So uh, not a ton of progress, but uh, progress nonetheless. Um, and I've just been working on that one uh, color and it's being stitched on the kit. I'm using the kit floss and the kit um, fabric, which is a 16 count uh, Ada. It looks like a cream color Ada. And okay, well, this is gonna be take two of my rotation segment because when I was watching it back and doing the editing of my video, I realized that I rambled on and on and on. It was ridiculous. So I'm going to try to refilm this segment of it, hopefully without the rambling. Because I can ramble. Uh, I also realized uh, that I forgot to share a project I worked on. Um, so I'll share that first and then talk about my rotation. So the other one I worked on was my Back Against Snowman by Stony Creek. And this is what he'll look like finished. He is in this magazine. It's winter of 2014 issue. And here is what he looks like the last time you saw it here. Here is where I'm at now. So as you can see, I got his little head done. His cute little face. So now I need to start his little hat. I got the hiccup. I think I hiccup in every video. Uh, this is being stitched on Stony Creek's 28 count fabric called uh, Summer Clouds. Okay, so that was all the projects I worked on. So let's set this over here. Okay. So let's talk about my new rotation that I want to try. <clears throat> so I'm finding that uh, between babysitting the grand dogs and work being busier, I'm not getting as much stitching time as I used to. And um, obviously that's kind of apparent by my progress on my projects. Um, so I want to kind of change things up a little bit. So last year I did... Uh, no new starts where I didn't start anything all year long. I just focused on the whips that I had going. I did have a couple of tiny starts uh, based on a small finish that I had last year, but it was strictly for retreat exchanges. So I haven't really been starting anything really for a long time. And I'm really wanting to start new things. I'm I love all my whips, but I'm, I want some new stuff to stitch on as well. And I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing the same projects. Uh, since I started my floss tube video for some of them, um, they've been here that long. So I want to give you guys some new things. I want to start new things. I just want to start new things. Okay. So, um, I have a ton of stuff kitted. I have lots of kits. Um, I have more stash than I'll ever be able to stitch in my lifetime. So I want to get some of them started. And I'm rambling again, so. Psh, psh. Okay. For uh, my work, I have decided that since we're busier, I'm just going to work on ornaments. Um, I want to have a Halloween tree and I want to have some stitch Christmas ornaments. So I'm just going to take ornaments to work and uh, kind of alternate between Halloween and Christmas, whatever I'm feeling. I would like to have... Uh, maybe make some stitched ornaments for gifts. Uh, so I think that's a perfect way to work those in um, to try to get some ornaments done. So I thought that since I already have her started, um, I'm going to 
make Muriel my first focus to finish. And then once she is done, I'll pick a new one and just work on it till it's finished and then just keep alternating. I'm thinking about going back and forth between Halloween and Christmas or just whatever I'm feeling at that moment. Um, I do, outside of Muriel, she's the only ornament I have started right now. I do have some felt Halloween ornaments started. I've only done one out of my kit. I may try to take those to work and see if those would be something I could possibly work on, but they may be too involved and I'm still really new at it, that it might not be a good idea. So if not, I'll just work on cross stitch ornaments. So that's my plan for work, my work stitching. In regards to at home, so during the week, the, the days that I work, I'm gonna focus on my full coverage those days that I also work. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna, I wanna focus on King Coda and my dogs because King Coda is so big that he needs to get constant progress and my dogs are for my mom and I'd like her to be able to have that one day uh, while she's still able to see it and enjoy it. Um, so I want to get sick progress on both of those. So my thought is I'm going to start with King Coda and I'm going to work on him until he, I get a half a percent stitch. I would do a full percent, but that's almost 7,000 stitches. It's like 6,800, which would take me a long time. So I thought half a percent, um, would be good. Cause that's still almost, you know, 3,500 stitches to get a half a percent. So it's significant progress. So I'm going to stitch him for a half a percent and then I will stitch on the dogs and do one full percent. And then all my other full coverage, I, I put in a tiny decisions wheel. I'll spin the wheel. The next one that it picks, I'll work on that one for a percent. And then I'll go back to King Coda for another half percent, the dogs for a percent, and then spin the wheel to see my next one to work to a percent. Uh, for the tiny decisions wheel, I decided that um, once it picks a project from those, um, I'll, I'll work through all of my projects before I reset the wheel and have it, you know, put them all back in the pool. So that way I make sure that I work on all of the ones I have started. And then um, if I decide to start a new one, I'll just add it into the mix. So um, that's how I'm going to work my full coverage. And then for all of my other whips, um, I'm going to work on those on days off. So the way my schedule rotates, I have, um, I work six days in a row and then I get three days off. Then I work five days in a row and I get two days off and then it goes back and forth. So in about a month period, I get two weeks that I have three days off and two weeks I have two days off. So on my first three days off uh, of the month, I'm going to do a new start. And my new start can be whatever I'm feeling at that moment. So I think that'll be fun because it will allow me to start maybe something seasonal that's in the season at that moment if I'm that's what I'm feeling um, or just whatever I feel like. So I think that'll be fun. And then on those three days off, that'll be my focus will be my new start. And then uh, for the other three weeks of the month, I took all of my whips and I wrote, wrote, categorized them into small, medium, and large projects. So my smalls category I did where the stitch count is about 100 by 100 or less. My medium category is between about 1 and 100 and 150 or 60 on one side and lower than that on the other side. And then my large category, I did pretty much anything that had a stitch count of like 150 or more on both sides. Um, that's kind of how I grouped them. And then I made a tiny decisions wheel for each of those size categories. Uh, so what my plan is, is on my first two days off, I'll work on a small project. And um, I will, whichever one gets chosen, will stay in that smalls week until I finish it. So if it takes two or three rotations to finish that out, then it, that's what it takes. But it will stay in that smalls week until I finish it and then I'll 
do the wheel to choose a new one. And then my second uh, two days off week, I'll do the medium. So both weeks that I'll, I'll have two days off, one week I'll do smalls, the next days off I'll do mediums uh, for that category. And then my three day off weeks, um, the first one will be an, a new start. And then the second three days off, I'll do a large project. So I went ahead and it kind of works out perfect because the first, um, I'm I was supposed to work today, uh, but I have four more days left this week. So uh, I work tomorrow and then four days. So my first days off in the month of March are my three day weekend. Um, so on my days off, I'm gonna have a new start. Yay! Um, I've picked one out, but I had to order my thread because it was a color that I didn't have. And um, after seeing the original color, that's the color I want. So um, I ordered that. So hopefully it's here before my day's off. So I'm not going to share that project yet. I'll share it on my next video because if that floss doesn't come in, I may have to do another new start instead and then do the one I had originally planned for my next new start. Um, so I'll share that one as a surprise. But I went ahead and picked uh, my small, medium, and large project for that's uh, that I'm going to start with. So my small, um, I went ahead and spun the wheel for that, and the wheel chose uh, my cottage of the month from Country Cottage Needleworks, and the one I had going is March, so that kind of worked out perfect. So my first two days off, I will start or do my cottage and it'll stay in that smalls week until I finish it. And what I plan on doing for series like that, uh, because I do want to stitch all of them, um, I have January and February done and almost finished with March. So on my two days off, I may actually get it done, uh, which would be awesome. So if that's the case, I'm going to leave that whip in my wheel and it will just say cottage of the month. And that then if it comes up again, I'll just start the next one. Um, so it's going to be technically a whip, even if it's finished, um, until I get that whole series done. Um, so that'll be my small. And then um, the one that chose um, medium, my medium category, my large category, there's two, there's projects that I, I want to get done sooner rather than later. So I went ahead and just chose them myself. I didn't let the wheel choose. So for my medium piece, I'm going to focus on my temperature tree because I really want that one done. And so this will stay in that category until I finish it. And then for my large project, I want to get my red birds done. Um, so that'll be my large project until it's finished. Um, so I just thought I'd show, show you where I was at. So my red birds is in this magazine, uh, November, December of 2011. Uh, just in case you didn't see my whip parade or um, you're new to my channel. But I'm stitching this one in honor of my grandma and grandpa who passed away. So this one is special. And when it's finished, I want to have it framed by Jill Renzel. So here's where I'm at. I'll kind of bring it in closer so you can see it a little better. So um, I call this Grandma Cardinal and Grandpa Cardinal. Uh, but here's Grandma. pretty colors and then here's the grandpa side Oops. yeah I need a board or something but I'm not very coordinated with those either So as you can see, really all I have left is that bottom corner and it's kind of, it's another flower like this and a few more berries and then it will be finished. So I'm going to keep that in my large category until it's done. Um, and that's kind of how I plan on doing my rotation. That way I get some new starts, but I'm not going start crazy and I'm still focusing on some of my older pieces to get them finished. So I think that'll work out good. I think it'll be fun. Um, I'm excited for a new start. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, 
And then um, I did want to share this really cute uh, notebook. It's hard bound. I got this at Home Goods, and she's got some bling. And so what I'm going to do, I need an excuse to use her. Um, so I thought it'd be fun. Um, so I wrote down my new rotation. And then I just have a March, my new start, and I thought I would write down whatever I decided to start. And then my first full coverage project is going to be King Coda. So I thought I'd write down um, stitch counts, like where I'm at and uh, where it will be when it's finished. And then um, once I do my smalls week, I will write that one in there and just kind of do a running uh, tally kind of of what I'm working on. And then as I finish them, I'll, you know, highlight it or put finished or whatever and kind of do a running total. So it gives me an excuse to use my cute notebook and it's a hard cover, so it'll last. And a uh, funny thing is, see so many pages of size, I could probably, embarrassing, but I could probably write down every pattern or kit or whatever I have and it'd probably fill this book. That's how ridiculous it is. So um, anyway, um, that is my plans for my new rotation. So I think it'll be exciting to have some new starts and, um, plus still work on some of these older things. So I think that's, um, it for rotation. Um, <clears throat> as far as, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay in the no new starts group. Um, one of the requirements, even though I'm in the stitch what you want track, they do require you to still participate in their challenges, which are fun, but I'm finding that with my limited stitching time, I'm trying to pick things and work on things solely to try to get, uh, fit them into these challenges. And, um, I don't know if that's also kind of stalling me out and not getting me the progress that I want. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe stopping that and just doing this rotation and having fun with it. So, um, okay. So I will let you go back to what I originally filmed um, as far uh, for the haul part and the giveaway. So last thing is I have a little bit of purchases or haul and then um, then we'll do the giveaway. I'll, I'll talk about the giveaway. So the first thing that I got was um, my fabric of the month from... Uh, Farm Girl Dry Goods. So I'm a member of her Patreon and um, I'm on her level three Patreon. And for her level three people, she does a fabric of the month club. Well, it's fabric club where you get a piece of fabric every three months um, if you're a member of her uh third level. So this was the one I just got. It's a really pretty uh, 36 count linen. And this color she called Norfolk. Um, and it was, uh, she put a little note in, in it that explains how she picked the name of the color. It has to do with a sheep, a uh, type of sheep or goat maybe. No, I think it's no, sheeps. So, but that's a really pretty color. Um, her fabrics are really pretty. They're really good for primitive style stitching. Um, very good neutrals. Um, so I've really enjoyed all of those that I've gotten so far. And then um, she also gave us a sucker for Valentine's Day. And a couple of her favorite red um, flosses from Weeks Dye Works, Sanguine and Carolina, I think it's cedar probably. Um, but she said they would look really pretty on that fabric, which look how pretty that is. So that'll be fun. And then the other thing I got was I placed an order at 123 Stitch because I've been wanting a uh, Cardinal Kin from Plum Street and it's been out for a while, but it was sold out. Um, and then I kind of liked, I couldn't decide what color version I wanted to do. Um, so I just bought the threads to do both colors. Um, so here's all my floss that I got. 
So I got the different reds, um, the creams, so I could see them in person and then decide maybe which one I liked or maybe I'll do both, who knows. Um, and then I had to get this pattern because I just thought it was cute and it has cardinals on it too um, from Cro Crochet Go Go. It's called Winter Warm Wishes. I thought the snowman were cute and that little deer. I love how he's like, what are you looking at? But really cute. And then the other thing I got... Um, I've had this one on my wish list, and um, they got the kit back in, so that's kind of what prompted my order. But I, <laughs> I had to get this one because the name of the kit just cracks me up. But it's called Roasted Chicken with Potatoes, and it's by RTO. And those chickens are looking at you like, what in the hell did you just say? Like, that's not even funny. So I thought that was adorable. So I had to get that kit. And that's it for my haul. Um, no, actually, I lied. There's two more things I got. Actually, I did get my fabrics of the month and threads from Color and Cotton, but I don't know where I stuck them. So I'll have to show those next time. But um, I did get a couple of more uh, bags from Pinky Promises store on Etsy. Her bags are beautiful. Um, so the first one I got was these cardinals, and her bags come with uh, thread drops. Um, but they're nice and thick and padded, but what I love about her bags is they have embroidery on the back. So that's the cardinal one. And then the other bag that I got was these really pretty uh, butterflies or moths. That's the thread drops. And check this out on the back. Isn't that beautiful? And so that links me to the giveaway. So um, for my giveaway, I'm actually going to give away one of her bags um, for my floss tube anniversary. Um, so this is the bag that um, I have it wrapped in the plastic. But um, I, this is the one I got for myself. But um, the bag I'm going to give away is this cute little piggy bag. Um, I just think it's hilarious how this piggy looks like she's going to just jump right out and give you a snout kiss. Um, I follow Esther the Wonder Pig on Facebook, and this reminds me of sweet little Esther. And her pictures in the morning where um, Steve's like, good morning, beautiful. And it's her like little snout. Um, so cute. If you don't follow Esther, you should. She's adorable, and Dad Steve is hilarious. Um, but, um, so this one is mine, but I have a brand new one that I got, um, still have it wrapped in the plastic to give away to one of you guys. So, um, just in your comments, I don't, uh, I will ship this anywhere because I want my international followers to be able to join in as well. Um, standard rules apply. You got to be over 18. Uh, don't mention giveaway, free, I want to win, like none of that stuff. We don't want the trolls to get it. I want um, a stitcher and somebody that watches my channel uh, to have an opportunity to win this. Um, and so just make a comment and mention the word pig in your comment, P-I-G. And um, I will choose a random winner. On my next video, I'm thinking it'll be, I'm going to try to come back at the end of March. So you, after my last session of days off. So um, probably, yeah, between my last rotation for my medium. So after I get through one full rotation of all of my days off. So the new start, small, medium, and large projects. Then I'll do a video that week between the last piece I worked on and before I do my new start for that week. So I think that'll work out good. That'll give me, um, you know, at least five projects to share, um, which won't be a whole ton. And, um, 
you know, then my videos won't be two hours long, which is way too long. So I think that's it. So, um, I appreciate you stopping by today. And if you're, uh, a, a subscriber, I really appreciate everybody that subscribes to my video. If you're a new person to my channel, I hope that you found something to be inspired by, and I hope that you will, uh, subscribe and, um, put in to win my giveaway. So, uh, that's it. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope you get lots of stitching in. Talk to you later. Bye.